Number nine, identify and label the Bronsted-Lowry acid, its conjugate base, and the Bronsted-Lowry base and its conjugate acid in each of the following equations. And then we have this equation right here. So we have to find out the Bronsted-Lowry acid and base and the conjugate acid and base in HSO4 minus plus OH minus, which will yield SO42 minus plus H2O. Okay, so the easiest way to do is the first pick out the pairs. Pick out the two species on both sides that look like each other. So I just like to start from left to right. I say, okay, I have a HSO4 minus. Which one on the right side looks very similar to HSO4? This one, SO42 minus or H2O? They should have the same elements, roughly. It's the SO42 minus. So these go together. And then you can kind of analyze to see if you've made the right choice with the other pair. OH minus goes with H2O. Yeah, I mean, they just both have hydrogen and oxygen, so they go together. The second thing you're going to do is write the word conjugate on the product side. Your conjugates, whether it's the acid or the base, is always going to be on the product side. So this has to be a conjugate of something. I just don't know which one yet, but I know it's a conjugate. And this has to be a conjugate as well. And just like that, the actual Bronsted-Lowry acid and base is always on their reactant side. So I know that the HSO4 is a Bronsted-Lowry something, and the OH- is also a Bronsted-Lowry something. Now we just have to say acid or base. Now you're going to identify what's going on in a specific pair. Now keep in mind, if we look down here, acids have always one more H plus than their respective bases, and then bases have one less hydrogen. So acids always have one more, bases have less. So if we look between HSO4 and just SO4, this one has a hydrogen, and this one has no hydrogens. If an acid always has one more hydrogen, the one with the hydrogen has to be the acid. So HSO4 minus has to be the Bronsted-Lowry acid, and in return, this one has to be the base. Now we do the same type of thing with the OH minus and the H2O. The acid will always have one more hydrogen. This one only has one hydrogen, and H2O has two. Acids always have one more, so this one has to be the acid, and then this is the Bronsted-Lowry base. And just note that on one side of the equation, you will always have one acid and one base. No two acids and no two bases. So if you come up with something like that, just stop and go back and try to do it again. That means something went wrong. Now I'm just going to hook the pairs up. So this goes with this, and this one goes with this one. And there you go. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. Love talking to you guys. And um, yeah, tell your friends, tell your classmates that this cool YouTube channel exists. I think it's pretty cool. What do you think? I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.